Welcome back. Now, earlier this year, Emma Ferguson was crowned the winner of the National Brown Bread Baking Competition, sponsored by Aldi. As part of her winning bread, is now a part of the prize of her winning bread is now available in Aldi shops nationwide. She's joined us now to tell us about how she made it, and we're going to taste it. And she brought Mick Quinn with her, who's here to show us what yep. to make with it. Uh, Emma, first of all, congratulations. You won this competition two weeks after having a baby. Yeah. Your third baby. Yeah. Your third boy. Yeah. Under four. Yeah. <laughs> Can we just pause there and take that in for a second, boys and girls? Um, why did you enter the competition? Uh, I just saw it advertised. I saw it in the Irish Times, and I always, I've always made brown bread. I make, make it at home with the boys. But so. ha your brown bread had clearly received compliments over the years. I, everyone had said they liked it. Yeah. And you thought, you know what? This is worth sticking into the competition. Uh, yeah, I certainly and didn't think I'd win. I'm not, I'm not going to ask you what's in it because apparently uh, you, you can tell me, but then you have to kill me. Okay. Um, how it's really good for you, though. How different is it to normal brown bread? Um, it's. It, well, there's a lot it's of seeds healthy. in it. It's very healthy. There's a lot of seeds in it. It's very good for you. That was the one thing that I wouldn't. Um, there were certain rules in the competition that you had to have certain quantities of flour. Ah, right, OK. Um, so, but I wasn't going to tweak the seeds or anything like that. So it's, and it's this isn't a recipe that was passed down. Did you come up with this yourself? Um, yeah, yeah. Happy days. Yeah. I can't wait to taste it. Michael, good morning. Good morning. Um, we're morning? going to come up with a couple of ideas to serve with this prize award-winning yeah. brown bread. What are we going to do? Well, I'm speedily making uh, fish chowder. So I've got some... You like chowder? Yeah, I love it. Oh, yeah. I've got some Aldi... Seafood mix here. Very good. Um, really simple recipe. Just uh, I'm going to put some carrot in for sweetness. Okay. A um, bit of wine. Lovely. Uh, no not, not a Hennessy. Just <laughs> oh, the wine. Not, not Hennessy the wine. slushy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so we'll use that. Um, I'm just going to a little bit of milk and Richard with cream. And okay. that's one of the dishes. So you start off with your onions in yeah. there. What's Oni next? Onions and garlic. Lovely. So the smell of that is gorgeous yeah. already, isn't yeah. it? Delicious. I like to put a bit of carrot into it because it, it just gives it a little bit of sweetness. Very nice. And this, the, the secret is um, cut everything small. It'll so cook a lot quickly. quicker. Yeah, OK. And you'll, you'll, you'll say, you know, that's where the flavour so is. So would that be a fine dice, Chef? That's a fine it? dice, a yes. fine dice. Yes. Marvellous, yeah. A um, little bit of potato. You have to have potato and chowder. You have to. And again, it thickens it up a little bit. Um, Are people afraid of making chowders, uh, Michael, in terms of... Because I always say when we have chefs on, we're talking about fish. I'm always nervous cooking fish. I don't know whether to overcook it or undercook it. But this is kind of a simple dish to make. This is, it? Yeah, if you get the kind of the chowder thing out of your head and just say, like, yeah, it's, yeah. A, it's, a, it's a fish stew. Yes. Yeah. You know, a nice kind of Irish fish stew and um, nice ingredients. Like, I've got some lovely smoked uh, haddock in there. There's Beautiful. some salmon. There's a, a white fish as well. And that's and a little seafood mix you can it's buy. A, it's a seafood mix you buy in Aldi. And the key to a good fish chowder is <clears throat> smoked fish. Very good. You need that smoky flavour yeah. in there. And good wine as well. Emma, um, um, would this be something you'd make? I actually make chowder a lot, yeah. Do you? Yeah, I put little bits of bacon in it sometimes. Oh, and see, no, 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 no pressure. I think we should swap places here. <laughs> no, Just, yeah, no you pressure here. No no way. Our brown bread's prize winning. Let's see if your chowder can match it. OK. No, right, you have all your veg in there. All the veg in here. I'm just going to speed up this... Uh, this, I well, I give it a right? kick. Is yeah, that give, right? give it a bit of a kick. We'll just give it a bit of a blessing. Is this, yeah. Is this? Is that? Is, is that this the right and one? that yeah. and the other one of the yeah. thing is? Perfect. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Okay, we got it. We're away. So, there we go, chef. I need some. Um, <clears throat> you need a drop of wine in there. Okay. And I just want to cook out that wine a little bit. And we've often heard chefs on the show say that uh, when you're cooking with wine, it has to be wine that you drink yourself. That'd be good. Yes. Don't go yeah. cheap on the wine. No. And I didn't. I picked this up in Aldi yesterday. It's a lovely New Zealand, uh, New Zealand yeah, Hawke's Bay. And you know what? We had New Good Zealand wine. wines featured on the show a couple of weeks ago. They are superb. Yeah. yeah. OK, so a little drop of wine. So I'm going to leave that bubble away for a okay. minute. Uh, I want to use... Uh, I just want to showcase Emma's brown bread okay. again. And I want to do um, a poached egg. So I'm putting some vinegar into that water. Now, you see, I've heard that that's bunk. The whole thing is swirl the water, vinegar. Do we, what does the vinegar do, chef? It gets the egg white and it brings it into the egg yolk. See? Simple. Depends on what chef you ask. Some of them will say, no, don't bother, just throw it in. But you're creating a little swirl there I have as a well. little swirl. You see that? I, I, I can all the techniques. OK. Um, it takes about three minutes. OK. So, little swirl. The thing is, little. So, OK, so not aggressive. No, no. OK, and just, just drop the egg in. Right into the middle. Nice. And that should... 
I'm work that nicely. Bad boy. So three minutes. So about three starting minutes for that. Now. Starting now. Sinead, you count three minutes, will you? That egg will be done. Brilliant. I'm going to put some asparagus We've in We've got here. three minutes left. Perfect. Okay, yeah. excellent. Okay, so <laughs> you'll be busy in, in three minutes. Right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're starving, aren't we, Emma? Yeah, we are. <laughs> okay, so... Uh, yeah, I need to turn this up. Oh, oh this okay, could end fine. Down. You said three minutes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, so I just want to give the 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 <clears throat> the, the, the uh, wine just to boil Pouring it down a little bit. Okay. So I'd like you. Would you put some brown bread on that plate? I certainly will, Chef. Yes. Um, and I use the middle bit. Would that be okay? Very oh. fussy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the middle bit. I'm very excited about tasting this because I've yeah. I've tried making brown bread myself, but I tend to cheat and just buy the. The pie, don't make them from scratch. <laughs> well, I'm going to buy this award-winning bread. OK. How many slices do you want, yeah, Chef? Just one in the middle, Just please. one in the middle. Yeah, of each? a million. Yeah, good man. There we go, OK. And I've got some um, Aldi hot smoked salmon here. Oh, yes, we do. Yum. Lovely, OK. So, again, lovely product, mm. Irish salmon. Just on the bread? Just on the bread. And just lay it on. It's and just going to flake lovely... nicely, isn't it? Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah. And you're going to pop your poached egg on top of this, is that no, what it is? No, this is just a little separate one. Oh. So we're going to have a... Just, just do it on one. Is that okay? I'll do it on one. All right. Well, I need this bit then. I do. No. Um, <laughs> just test that product. I just put another bit on. Oh, I was being miserable. Wasn't <laughs> it? You were. You were. Yeah. Come on. It's, it's Christmas, Christmas time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So we got two minutes. And some lovely lettuce sitting on top of that. Beautiful. Lovely. Okay. I'm going to just pop the fish in here. So Beautiful. two minutes is plenty of time to cook fish. People so that's one suggestion. Brown yeah. bread, hot smoked salmon salad. Lovely. Yeah. Lovely. Chowder. Chowder, coming on nicely. I have to be honest, if I'm one of those people that if I see chowder on a menu in a restaurant, always I'll always order it. Yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> it's just, it's soul food, isn't it? Oh, yeah. absolutely. It's lovely. A little bit of milk. And depending on a portion size, you can have it for as a starter, you can have it as yeah. your main dish. Yeah. yeah. And brown bread is a classic yeah. accompaniment to it, isn't it? We all and I think we dinner. should, like, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's real Irish food. We should be, uh, <clears throat> Proper Irish food. We We've be got very... the best ingredients in the world, don't we, Jeff? Absolutely. Oh, uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. How steady is your hand? Oh, steady as a rock. OK, there but you go. I'll leave you to do this. What am I doing with that? You're going to bring that over, oh, place it on top of the brown bread. This will go horribly wrong, Chef, no, but it won't. won't. No, it won't. See how lovely that egg is? Per it's perfectly yep. poached, Chef. OK, so our egg goes on. There we go, Chef. And then I've got some lovely... Oh, beautiful asparagus. Asparagus. Okay. Garnish it with. Really well. Come on up with ideas for brown bread recipes. There's two straight away. Yes, I've really. got shouted to come. <laughs> and then I've got a. Yeah, would you put some more brown bread on Certainly that? Certainly will, Lovely. Chef. Yeah. Thank you. I would like you like three on that? Chef. <laughs> <laughs> I keep you. Yeah, I can stay. Can I... Okay. Okay, <clears throat> I'm going to just season this up with a little bit of pepper. And I'm going to give Emma spoons, knives. Oops. Forks, because we're going to tuck in while we're while okay, doing do, this. Okay, right? do. I have it all set up? Right, Emma, which would you like to try first? Do you know? The egg. You have to try the Definitely. poached egg, yeah. right. Right. See if it's perfectly poached or yeah. not. Oh, it's Chef. perfect. Yes. Well done. Yeah. Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah. Mm. You happy? Not bad, is it? Why didn't we no, get to the perfect. chowder now? That's the one, uh, <laughs> that's the one Uncle Simon's waiting mm. for. Okay, okay, <laughs> Simon, I'm going to make this good. <clears throat> right, How long we're gonna, do we have? We're out of time, We're out so of time, okay, so... <laughs> get it in the bowl, so... Get it in the bowl quickly. Beautiful. It's lovely. Nice. Mm, perfect. So a nice, nice bit of fish. Just throw it up here, chef. There you go. I just want to put a tiny sprig of garnish Look on that. that. bad boy. A bit Yum. of dill. Right, Emma. Get stuck into that. No, well done. Three, three, three great ideas. Thank you. Come out to taste the brown bread. <laughs> right, coming up after the break, styles for the Christmas morning. Fashion is up after this quick break. <laughs> 